Well, we're getting close. We have 5,128 nautical miles behind us, and we only have 662 nautical miles in front of us. Before our arrival on Friday morning at Port Everglades, Florida, the home port of the Oasis of the Seas. I can assure you that the anticipation on board is really, really great. Uh, we're all looking forward to showing the world uh, what an amazing, remarkable, magnificent ship we have. And the work has all come together. Every day you've seen more progress. And now our hotel director, Ryman, is going to give you a little guided tour of some of the areas and how they progress during the crossing. Right now on Oasis of the Seas, I'm the one responsible uh, to make sure that the ship is operational from the moment we get guests on board the ship. It encompasses everything but the nautical side on board the ship. So everything you experience as a guest, from the F&B side to the entertainment, to all the shops on board the ship, the guest staterooms. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Raymond. Raymond's a rock star. During our last several takeouts, Raymond was the startup hotel director. And so I asked Raymond to be the overall, what we call the Oasis czar. I have an amazing team uh, of people, and many of them have been on, on the previous four or five startups with me, who organize and structure. That's really the people who make it happen. We do what is called stress test the venues. We just learn about capacities, we learn about flows, we learn about processes and procedures we envision and how they will work for us. The moment we have the first guests coming on board the ship, everything has to be spick and span. It's extremely exciting and yes, there's, it's just like you would be a performer probably on stage. You have butterflies and you just hope that you know everything just works. 